the Mush Chups, one of the OG original dinos in Ark Survival Evolved, which isn't actually a dino, believe it or not. It's a passive friendly animal, it doesn't take no notice of you or any other creature unless it's attacked, at which case it's gonna turn tail and run. But within all that passiveness is a very OP secret that's gonna get your harvesting game taken to the next level. You're right kids, it's Ras Clark. And today we are talking about the mushups and unlocking all the secrets that you guys need to know. Before we carry on, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, drop a like, share around, hit that bell. So start taming those mushups because it's gonna be worth your while. Let's get to it. So have you ever wondered why Wildcard decided to incorporate a passive taming method to quite a early entry looking dino that requires so many different ingredients that it can ask at random whilst you're taming it? Well there's a good reason and we'll get to that in just a moment. The Mushchops isn't a PvP willing mount because even in the face of danger even if you whistle attack, they're still going to run and flee. They don't want the fight. They just want to fight stuff that doesn't move. And like the Gigantopithecus and the Roll Rat, it has an autonomous harvesting ability. So you can set them on wonder and they'll infinitely collect all the fiber and berries that you need whilst you're busy doing whatever you are in your base. So once you've tamed some, you want to get breeding, you want to get that melee up as high as possible to improve their magic ability. And this is what it is folks, within the pinwheel is a harvesting level option, not unlike the Therizino, that offers an improved rate of collection and weight on your resource of choice. So arc science time, let's level this one completely in prime meat and show you what you can expect to gain from at least the rates on official. If you're on boosted, of course, this is only going to improve tenfold. So here's a dead baby Rex, met the fate of the gods. We're gonna get these must chops that I didn't level up in the resource collection first. And you'll see there, yeah, it's an okay amount of prime meat. Now, let's send in the one we leveled up. And look at the difference in collection now. That's a nice stack of prime meat. Not bad at all. And certainly taking some of the meat harvesters a run for their money. But now, the sheep. Now look at the difference there. Now that's a nice stack of mutton. Let's send in the leveled mushups. And look at that. That's a pretty insane amount of mutton harvested by the mushups. And it gets better, folks. We're now going to level the other one in poly and test this out on the dinos that drop organic poly. Worth noting, guys, you can't ride them to do this you have to ensure that they attack them themselves. What's interesting is that whistling is a bit hit and miss. And oddly enough, during this test, one mushups would only react to aggressive, whilst the other one would only react to attack your target. I don't know why, but one of them should work. So here we go, penguin test. It isn't an adult penguin, whether that makes a difference because we only got one poly with the non-leveled mushups. Now send in the leveled one. And 20 poly, okay, that's yeah, all right. All right, let's test out the mantis. Send him in. And what, 40, 58 poly. Yeah, okay. All right, let's send in the leveled mushups. And what we got? Oh, that's a nice stack. 360 poly from one mantis isn't a bad shout. All right, and lastly, the carcinus. What we got? Oof, measly portion, not great. Let's try the leveled mushups on a carcinus now. 
And yeah, that's that's a pretty fat stack. 638 poly. So if you've got the ability to clone level one crabs, you're gonna be harvesting an insane amount of poly. Good grief. Negating any needs to make the hard stuff. And happy days. Come away with a nice bit of poly, a heck of a lot of mutton in a very short space of time. Job done. Mash chops, harvesting game strong like wood and there we go thanks for watching guys drop a comment and let me know if you think the mass chops is indeed the best harvesting dino for poly mutton and prime my name is ross clark don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always peace out